Hey guys, um, I've been requested by this user Michael to create a tutorial on drop down menus, uh, dynamic drop down menus. So, here is one example of what I mean is when I uh, when I click on one country in a drop down menu, Ajax scripts come into play and a new drop down menu of states populates just below the country without actually refreshing the whole page. So when you click on here is a simple markup that I made that we will work on right now so when I what he means is when I click let's say in, on USA the corresponding states of the USA should be populated they should be uh, fetched from the server they should not be present in on the client like in a JavaScript variable or something they should be on the server either on database or file or they can be a, an array like I have, I have so this is the markup of this, uh, the page you see here this is a markup and uh, all these countries that have been lift uh, that are uh, being listed in this uh, drop down box are al also present here and they contain the corresponding states that they have so like USA they have Indiana Louisiana Texas Utah the this is just an example so this can be wrong but this is just to show you example so the country then again has states and every country has their states so uh, uh, and all these countries are actually present here in our drop down box so let's create this so i have this script tag here so whenever the user clicks on it we want to fetch the states of the clicked country or the selected country so on change whenever the value of this uh, this uh, menu changes we want to call our windows or get states of uh, function and we are going to define this function here and in here we will start off by creating ajax object inside try catch This is the W3C way XML HTTP request. And if there's some error here, we want to do XML HTTP cool new active X object. Now we are going to again see if the browser supports Ajax, either it can be Firefox, Chrome or IE or Safari, any, anyone, so <clears throat> any one of these. So if, if we have this uh, uh, object initialized, so the browser supports Ajax, now we will get the values from the, here. Uh, we, we will actually get just one value which is the country, the selected country, we can get it by using the name of the form first of all we get, need to get the reference to the form using document and the form name form name is form 1 name of the form is form 1 and the another variable we will initialize it with the value from the country a select field so we can access it like this country and its value all right now we will assign our um, initialize our request Fuck. and we'll pass the country country equals the country we just country and we also I forgot to assign event handler to an already state chain which handles the response So 
when we get the response we are just going to alert it for now to see if we successfully get the response now we'll go here and just for now we are going to echo out the country that has been received using the get request country so you can see whenever I click uh, any country it has been sent to the PHP script and then we will see the echo uh, out value now or the output of that file so it, I selected India so you can see India if I select India again you will see th the script doesn't run because on change only works if the value changes and that's a good thing okay so we'll go back to the script and now we are going to uh, first of all see if we set this is the case then we are going to check if the state also has the country that has been passed if is set states and we'll pass a country and see if the this index also uh, is uh, this index is set in this states array if this is the case then we will create a for loop and iterate through each state in it Let's see i is greater or equal to zero now we will echo out the options You'll see why while why, uh, why I'm doing this. You will see in a minute. Option and the ith state. save it so now if I go back to our script and uh, look at the response you will see that the options that have been uh, uh, received on the client so we can just put these options in a select tag and display it to the user in this form we can simply do that if we go back and create a select tag first of all so using document creation method create element I will create a select tag and its name will be state and its um, inner HTML will be the response from the server which you have just seen is the it contains all the options that go uh, that should go inside this this dot response text and a start uh, all right that's it I think so now we need to put this inside uh, our form it's not good to bend our form uh, I'm going to check if this uh, select box is already there you will know why I'm doing this uh, you will get uh, the idea why, why I did this in a moment so I'm checking if uh, this object, uh, this select box, box is already there by che checking the name. If form name, sorry, state, then we need to replace form dot replace child, replace child and new with the old one. So form state. So it, it just replaces uh, the old old one with the new one the old one will be deleted so else we will just 
apa insert the insert before we'll insert before uh, the submit form uh, submit button sorry we'll insert this drop before submit button save and now let's go and see if it works yeah it works perfect if I select some other country you'll see all these states come up if I submit it you will see the state has been selected which which I selected India and I if I select Gujarat submit it then Gujarat is received on the server if, uh, to the submit page so thank you for watching this is how you do it how you do dynamic uh, drop downs thank you